hard to be real with yourself. Um, and I'm saying that from personal experience. I had some baggage and I did not know how to deal with it. And Johnson is talking about a bag of negative beliefs about black women in love. She said after seeing her mother go from bad relationships to a healthy marriage, she knew love was possible and that she had to let go of the past in order to find it. Sometimes I'll feel like, is there something wrong with me? Why doesn't anyone want to date me right now? But I think that's where you have to put yourself in perspective. If you don't ever look in your bag, you don't know what's in there. So you don't know what you need to put down. In spite of all the data surrounding black women in marriage, Dr. Moore says the key is letting go of the narratives that media perpetuates of black women. We just kind of say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we, we don't get married to, to later and, and, and our marriages are awful and we can't stay together and I don't know when I'm gonna find my husband. We, get, we, keep, we, let, we let the story be told by others and then we keep telling that mess. Dr. Moore and Dr. Bennett Alexander believe that the numbers are real, but they don't have to be anyone's reality. Statistics don't make a person. So you could be, let's just, just say lower SES, so socioeconomic status. It doesn't automatically mean that that defines your life. Dr. Moore says the best example of this is the civil rights movement and how its leaders took a stand and their marriages set the tone. That's the envisioning of partnership. Um, they both moved a forward progression of thought through their marriage. And even after he uh, died, there was still the prevalence of their marriage that kind of helped move um, the movement through. Kramer calls this being resilient. Kramer admits that there are odds against black women and the black community, but she feels as though overcoming these obstacles are what make black women so special. Um, we are so talented and so strong, and um, we overcome adversity every single day in like the smallest of things, and I think that's what makes us a really great group of people. Johnson believes the way to maintain positivity is to build love in yourself so that you can give love to others, spouses, children, and the community. Understand that you are loved because you're still here. All these women agree that for them, faith and religion are key to dealing with these circumstances. Dr. Moore points out that it's been an important part of black life for generations. And if you believe in something bigger than you, you've got all the love you need. In order to feel that void, you have to feel it with, with God. Um, because that's unconditional love. 